Hey, welcome to the extra video of melee combat. What I'm going to do in this video is just refine a few things just for the sake of this specific game. And maybe if you're having troubles in some spot, you might find solutions. So the first thing I noticed was for defending, when you put up the shield and put it down, your character still slides on the floor. So if I let go of right click, he's going to start sliding, but you see his animation. Look at his feet. He was sliding. So my cheap shot to get rid of that was to go into locomotion and simply just get rid of these two. So the transition is almost instant. But it looks a lot more flowing than it did with those because it prevents the slide. And to fix the slide you would have to basically decrease the speed to 0 for this transition animation and then increase the speed to 150 for the shield mode so it would, a lot, it would involve a lot more code but I don't think we really need it, it doesn't need to look so pretty I'm just setting the conditions so now if I play he's gonna go in and out of it in a, in a flash There. There's no transition, but at least it looks a little bit better. There's no sliding feet. I know it's instant. So this was one bit. The second thing was... Uh, why did I exit the game? Yeah, here's this, another thing. Watch as I rotate the camera and I right click. He faces the camera. Well, he doesn't face the camera. He see his back. I kind of want this because if the enemy is to my right and I'm looking at him like this, well, I want to attack him and I don't want to miss my hit because otherwise it's going to be this. I'm going to miss my hit for sure. If he's coming right in front of me and I'm attacking like this, it's not going to help me. So to fix that in Warrior Blueprint, we're just going to copy this. Use controller rotation, yeah. But this one's already checked, so I'm going to copy this one. Now, here in the left clicks, I'm going to move this, I'll paste it right here. I'll do the same for the right clicks. So at each right click, I'm going to look wherever my camera is looking. So I'm moving, boom. Alright, we gotta turn it off, because now he's going crazy. Look at that. So, copy this again. However, let's say for left click, I only want to turn it off if I'm not in shield, in blocking mode. So when I release, I put up a branch. I get two of these. I'll uncheck the first one. I'll put true here and false there. Oh, actually no. It's supposed to be like this. Sorry. So I'm going to put blocking in here. So when I release, it's going to check if I'm in shield mode. If I am, it's going to maintain the controller yaw rotation. If not, it's going to undo it. There, it worked. And now we need to do it for for the right clicks. Okay, looks like it's working, but it's kind of strange. Oh, okay, what we need for the right mouse button is when it's released, we do a branch. And we say if it's blocking. If he is, continue down. If he isn't blocking, then I guess we could do this. I'm just gonna move these down. 
hit play and see what's what's up. I'm kind of recording these on the fly, so nothing is pre-planned. Although I will pause the video and break it down into segments in case I make stupid mistakes. But one, two, three, four. Okay, let's try with the greatsword. Since it has more combos, I can see my character turning more often. Yeah, it's so that's what we added. This, this little piece, and that. As we progress with the code, I'm gonna be commenting more and more because I don't know if there's things I need to develop further. Because I like to comment everything when it's all done. So I'm gonna uh, stop this segment, and then the next one I'm gonna explore some more things, and we're gonna refine them further. So let's try making a dash attack. Here what I did is, I went to get my, here, type in, oops, wrong segment. So I took sword and shield slash, I made an animation montage and I placed it in montage right here. And I called it W underscore dash attack. Set the group to body and put a reset at the end of it. Once you have that, go into warrior blueprint make a branch you have to type and not connect the knot to the second end we'll get dodging and we'll get blocking put false in there and connect true condition here connect the condition to and so we get this what I want to do up here is play anim montage and I'm gonna type in dash and see what that does so as I'm doing a dash attack I can right click and get into a dash attack there So he hops front, forward or backwards, and he performs that attack. The play rate, I'm going to put it to 2, because I want this to be a quick attack. And the speed can be adjusted like that. It's pretty fast, but whatever. I'll set it to 1.5 here. So we have a dash attack for sword and shield and it's executed right here with the right mouse button I'm gonna comment all this stuff man it's a big mess right now but I just don't know which, what I'm gonna be expanding on so I'm gonna wait a little bit for that for example when we right click using greatsword mode and we're not doing anything we can put an attack there something special maybe a skill like a power up So. Continuing on with this, I'm going to copy paste it, put another branch, and connect false and true. Next thing I'm going to check for is if I'm in greatsword mode. If I'm not, well, I'm going to perform the dash attack I made. If I am, let's go get a new anim sequence. Wow right on the spot so 360 high we'll use that one create an montage w underscore gs dash attack I'm gonna move that into my anim montage folder type gsd for gs dash attack set it to body put a reset and I'm also going to add a field of view and a camera shake.
and the launch. So let's give this a go also. So switch weapons, then we're gonna perform a dash attack. Yeah, it worked. Usually you would have a, a quick dash and leading up to a quick attack that wouldn't do too much damage, but it's like a it's like a harassing thing. And I don't think I'm moving forward. Not at all. In fact it's the wrong anime montage. So here G is D and you get the dash attack. And I'm also gonna set launch force. And I'll put it to I don't know five hundred. Switch my weapons. Dash. Boom. Cool. So even when I dash back, he's going to move forward a little bit to attack. And that pretty much covers up the dash attack and for both the uh, sword modes. And I'm going to scan through and see what else we can tweak or refine. And we'll do that in the next segment. Okay, so I found something small that could use a bit of uh, tweaking. We're gonna fix it actually. It's uh, it concerns the dash attack. So when I do a dash attack, if I keep clicking, you see you get stuck in the pose. So what was missing was a do once. So all this code, I'm gonna cram it. And right after true, I'm gonna type in do once. Now, as for its reset, we have this. Or we could just make another custom event. Otherwise, we're gonna have a really long wire. So, reset dash attack custom event and plug it into reset. And it gets reset right here in the combo reset. So as I type in reset, I'm going to get it right here. Reset dark dash attack. So let's check that out. Yeah, it worked. So I don't know what else I can uh, tweak in this mode. I pretty much covered all that I could and I'm thinking that I can't really work on the spells unless I have an AI, a boss that does damage to the player. So I'm just going to think about it a little bit and either we're going to go ahead and make the AI so the boss can hurt the player and we're going to work on damage inputs and the skills and all the spells then do ranged character with the summons at the end. So in the next video. I guess it'll be a surprise topic. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.